So, follow on from yesterday, well, last night's video, which, in retrospect, looking at the end of the video, I got a bit choked up. I was, I, I didn't really realise it when I was recording the video, but if you look at it at the end, I am a bit emotion, shall we say. My voice is a bit catchy, and my eyes were definitely welling up. I, Jesus Christ, I mean, I don't get emotional about a lot, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so... Following on from last night's video where I explained the situation with me and Davey and the way it was, I woke up to a text from him today saying that yes, actually he is going back to Perth and obviously I'm not. So we had an argument, as you do, Well, I put my point across, I think rather eloquently. I don't blame him that he can't get a job and where he is he can't really get much work. I, I don't blame him for that, that's not his fault. What is his fault is the fact that he spent all the spare cash that he had drinking and having fun and spending it on shite so that the money that he could have used to stay and get me, he doesn't have. And instead of seeing about maybe just sticking around for the foreseeable future until he meets me, instead he's gonna spend money that he doesn't have flying back to the other side of the country and then expect me to follow him, which I'm not doing. I'm already £400 out of pocket because of him. I'm not willing to pay another 200 to fly back. It's not happening. And the best about it is, during the course of the argument, I even said to him, well, against all my better judgment, I probably would have paid for him to come back to Cairns and I would have paid for him to stay in a hostel with me while we figured out what we were going to do next. But clearly, considering his whole attitude towards what he said... There was no point in that and he agreed. He said, yeah, that's fine. And then he kept on saying he hoped our paths would cross again in the future. But I don't want that. You're clearly showing that I'm not a priority in your life. So I'm not going to go out my way to speak to you again. I'm sorry, you've wasted my time for nine months. I'm not willing to continue to be used and led on like that. You clearly don't want me like you say you want me and you don't love me. So, right now I do not have a boyfriend again, which is fair enough. I'm just, there's a lot of emotions going on. At one point, I'm really gutted. I mean, I genuinely am. I, I I love him. And I was hoping to see him again. That was kind of the point. I was going to get him and we were going to do things together and have this amazing adventure. And now we're not. So I'm really upset about that. But on the other hand, I'm like, well, I'm probably better off because he's clearly showing that He's not going to give me what I'm looking for, what I expect a boyfriend to be. So I'm probably better off in that respect. But at the same time, it's sad and it makes me going away even more apprehensive because I'm now going to be myself the full time pretty much. I literally do not know what the fuck I'm going to do about that. I mean, what if no one likes me? What if I don't make friends? What if the same things happen to me that happened to Davey? You know, I don't really want to go through all of that. So I'm hoping that it works out. I mean, one of my friends said today that I always see the bright side of things, which is probably true. I'm actually quite a positive person. I really don't get negativity. And when people are just negative about things, I think it just totally sucks the atmosphere out of any situation. And it's just not, it's not my bag, baby. It's not my bag. So yeah, I'm now going to be myself and... It's very confusing and there's just lots of emotions that I'm working through. Overwhelmingly though, I am really pissed off and disappointed that I wasted so much time with someone and put so much energy and effort into someone just to once again get nothing in return. It just basically goes to show you that relationships aren't worth shit. I'm sorry, it's very rare that you'll find a relationship that works without one person loving the other more than they love them or some hidden agenda, or just whatever else. It's, it's just nuts, really. Just nuts. So, yeah. Now I'm going to do what any normal, rational person does do when they have a situation like this. Get drunk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink some vodka, and I'm going to smoke some weed, and I'm going to get very merry and just basically forget about what has happened for 24 hours so that it gives my, like, the back part of my brain, shall we say, time to process this and then we can reevaluate it. 
because obviously I've not spoke to him. I've spoke to one of his friends who was asking me what had happened, and she basically confirmed that, yeah, that's standard him. That's just the way he behaves. And then she said that he seemed to be looking forward to me coming over, but clearly that's not the fucking case if you're going to move to the other end of the country like less than a week before I get there. Thank you very much for that. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to get drunk, and maybe I'll film another video later when I'm really steaming. Who knows? We'll find out.